Why am I excited to be here today? Or is it stress I'm feeling? What is my instinct telling me? Do I want to move forward to the center of the stage and speak to you? Or do I rather go backwards and hide? That is confusing, isn't it? Can you see how I feel in my face? Can you hear it in the tone of my voice? Fifteen years ago, a terror attack took the lives of three young mothers in Israel. I was just recently married myself, and with the naive ambition of a 24 years old, I decided to build the ultimate lie detector, try to build the ultimate lie detector, combining different sets of, of known technologies. I had no money for sophisticated equipment. I thought everything was already known with the polygraph. But the part about voice analysis intrigued me, intuitively. There is something in the voice, don't you agree? I really knew nothing about the voice, so I had to start with the very basic, recording myself, lying to myself, examining very carefully every bit of the curve. And as I thought I saw some unique patterns in my truth and lie responses, I started experimenting with friends. Lie to me, I said, <laughs> and silly statements start filling the air. Grass is red, the skies are green, I'm the Queen of England. My system showed no consistency at all. But then a very intimate question was asked. The first intentional lie to avoid embarrassment was told. My system readings went to the roof. Suddenly it all made clear. People can see into the future. People lie to change that future. Lies are derived by jeopardy, surrounded by intentions, Nonsense statements do not trigger that type of reaction. A lie is made to change the course of things to come. It can be detected only by its underlying emotions. So over the years, we developed many different sets of tools. I gathered a team of professionals. We built systems for police use, for fraud prevention, for call center applications. And we could see the systems are performing remarkably well when they are used in the right context. We save tons of money. Yet we cannot catch a lie if it is based on the choice of words. If it has no meaning. So, a few years into the research, we decided to change the scope. Focus on what we actually do best. We now understand some of my initial assumptions and basic parameters are proven to be wrong. That happens in research, you know. What we can do best is read and classify emotions. Lead investigators to reveal the whole truth. Goodbye, lie detectors. Hello, investigation focus tools. Emotional analysis by itself comes with many challenges, though. I mean, what is it that we want to analyze? Is it the report, the way we try to broadcast ourselves? Hi! Or is it what goes on deep inside? Who are you? Real emotions or faked ones? From our point of view, it is only the real emotions. Only the real emotions, never the fake ones to be evaluated. As from veracity assessment point of view, faked emotions have no value. Second, what do you do when your results, your findings, are inconsistent with prior science? Results we gather from the field. Show us differently. Some of our parameters are not recognizable by the science of phonetics. Polygraph, our closest system we are constantly compared to, only show global stress and reaction. And stress does not indicate deception. On the contrary, today we know that it's the plurality of emotional readings and the analysis in the right context that gives a much better clue. And so what is it that we offer today? We think of it as the microscope of emotions. We offer real-time, efficient and accurate means to tap into the soul, to tap into the mind, understand the real triggers and motivations from the police investigation, the criminal trying to manipulate his investigator, to the well-dressed con artist going after your money. 
from your best customer trying to get decent support in your call center to your next employee to be seeking for fair evaluation. From the soldier returning back from the field with pictures he will never forget to the kid with the learning disabilities, unraveling the ways of the mind. Now, why is the voice such a good medium? The human voice is made of many repeating patterns. Many repeating patterns created by many sets of different muscles. They are created in a very carefully orchestrated way in order to create meaningful data. They are created, co uh, correlated by the cortex in a very sensitive process. Every internal stimuli, any external stimuli, will influence the generation of these patterns. What we do is we monitor these patterns and we identify the time where they break to identify the event that took place and classify it accordingly. And then, well, there are so many different emotions, aren't they? Stress, excitement, anger, happy, sad. Are these just words or do they have a recognizable pattern? What happens in our mind when we argue, when we love? What happens when we lie? Can anyone tell? We can tell. Does it ever go wrong? It might. Do we understand everything we see under this emotional microscope? Well, some things are still a challenge. And so our research will forever continue. And we collect data from any source under the sun, and we take almost any challenge. And so now we are challenged by the good people of TED. We are actually analyzing the emotion of all speakers today, including me. And on the streams outside, people can see how I feel and how my fellow speakers feel every moment. And what we want you guys to do... Sorry. We also ran some famous speeches from the past, just for comparison. Uh, Prime Minister Churchill, President Obama, President Clinton. Not blind optimism, not wishful thinking, but hope in the face of... Great difficulty. speakers, aren't they? I chose this instrument. What we find is this. Great speakers walk on much higher excitement. They think much less as they speak. They are very much energized. And get this, they really enjoy the stage. So there's one offer I can make my fellow speakers today. And before that, I would like to ask you to join our website, TEDx Amsterdam, and vote for your favorite speaker. Try to grade, your, try to grade his emotions yourself. And let's see who gets it better. The report will be summarized, and my fellow speakers will just enjoy your show. Thank you.